2.2, problem number 53. Some students really like these problems and some students really hate them. There is not one right answer to this question. So I'm happy to do this with you here, guys. But if you're looking at my video compared to something that you came up with already, yours might look different than mine and it could be okay as long as it meets these three criteria here that they've given us. So we're supposed to come up with the sketch the graph of a function, not the function, guys. There's not just one right answer that has these three things in common. All right, let's read the first one here. The limit as x approaches 2 from the right of this function has to equal f of 2, the value of the function itself, and both of those things have to have a y value now of 3. So at x equals 2, we're talking about this particular line right over here. The first thing I see is right here, f of 2 has to equal 3. So no ifs, ands, or buts about it. All of us have to have a closed dot right there at the ordered pair 2, 3. And then incorporating with that the limit as x approaches 2 from the right to the left, so moving this way of that function, has to equal that same value right there. So you can draw anything you want over here on the right hand side as long as it ends up in this point right over here. So lots of different ways you could do this. I'm going to just kind of draw something that looks maybe like kind of a rational function and does something like that. Now again, you could have a lot of different things. You could have this, you could have this, you could have a cosine wave, you know, anything you wanted, guys. But as long as your curve right here ends at this solid dot at the point 2, 3, then we've satisfied all the criteria here uh, in stipulation number 1. Now, what else is going on here? Stipulation number two, ah, the limit as x approaches two from the left of this function. Okay, that one right there has to equal negative one. It does not have the same limit that we had at the right. So now, everybody, this tells me that we are getting near to a point here. When x is equal to two, we should be narrowing in on a y value of negative one. But notice here, the value of f of two has to be three, not negative one. That tells me that this needs to be an open dot at the ordered pair 2, negative 1. So 2, negative 1 is going to get me right here. And I think, I think, I think the rest of this graph doesn't really matter. So once again, I think you could draw anything in the world you wanted to do here on that left side as long as it ends up hitting that open dot right there. And I think what I just drew matches stipulation number 2. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left of that function is negative 1. Now, I see something here in the third step, and I'm wondering if I didn't make a mistake earlier on. Let's take a look. This one tells me that the limit as x approaches 4, and notice, guys, there's no plus or minus after that 4. That means that this one right here has to be a two-sided limit when there's no plus or minus after it. So the limit as x approaches 4 of this function has to equal 2. However, that cannot equal the value of f of 4 itself. So what that tells me here, guys, is the limit as x approaches 4 equaling 2 tells me that we need to get to the ordered pair 4, 2. But since f of 4, reading this backwards, does not equal 2, that needs to be an open dot right there at that point. And I think by dumb luck, I actually came pretty close to getting that right. So I tell you what, I'm going to amend my graph here just a little bit, and I'm going to go to the point 4, 2, and make an open dot right there. And let me go ahead now and kind of draw most of the rest of what I had here. Okay, so I think what I've drawn now satisfies the first step right here. f of 2 has to equal 3. Got it. Uh, and what else? The limit as x approaches 2 from the right is 3. Good. But now I think I've satisfied this statement right here. The limit as x approaches 4 from both sides, both from the left and from the right, that limit there uh, at 4 is equal to 2. Now the last thing you could deal with, this statement right here, f of 4 cannot equal 2. Because I have an open dot right here at the point 4, 2, and I suppose I could label that, because I have an open dot, I'm actually okay with this statement right here. f of 4 is not equal to 2. However, 
what some of you guys might have felt better about doing right here is the fact that right now there is no value of f of 4 in this function. It's undefined. And I'm looking at the directions right here. It doesn't say that f of 4 has to exist anywhere. So I'd be okay leaving it right here. But you could also just do something random like this. You could kind of make this piecewise and say, okay, when x is 4, our f of x value, our f of 4 value is something totally different, like 0. So whether you put that solid dot there or not, whether you just leave it as an open dot at 4, 2, that covers the fact that f of 4 is not equal to 2, even though the limit as x approaches 4 of f of x is 2. So again, you guys, there's a million different things that we all could have right here, but we all need to have this open dot right here at the point 2, negative 1, and then connecting with the left. We need to have a closed dot right here at the point 2, 3, connected to what's going on on the right, and we need to have an open dot right here at the point 4, 2. And you may or may not have another closed dot when x is equal to 4, but that one's really not necessary.